obviously as you must have checked or read the question you must have realized that the question is based on the concept of simple and compound interest compound interest in particular let's read the question a sum of money which is the principal under compound interest so the scheme has been mentioned clearly doubles itself in 5 years okay so therefore it becomes two times p in how many years will it become so what is it what does it mean it means the principal it becomes 16 times itself so we've broken down the question into parts let us understand step by step how to approach the uh, problem amount under compound interest we know is principal times 1 plus r by 100 raised to n so this in terms of percentage can be written as fraction so capital r by 100 can be written as small r which represents basically the fraction now if you try to input the data given there the sum becomes twice so therefore it is 2p equal to p into 1 plus r whole raised to 5 so it becomes twice in 5 years so p cancels from both sides it is expected for for from us to find out how many years would it take to become 16 times itself so 16p would be p times 1 plus small r whole raised to n1 so that let the number of years be n1 now if you cancel p both sides you get two such interesting equations what do you observe you observe that if you raise this equation to the fourth power and why to raise it because we want to express this 1 plus r in terms of a power through which we can find the value of n so if you take the fourth power on both sides you will realize that 2 raised to 4 is 16 and therefore 1 plus r raised to 5 whole raised to 4 would be 1 plus r raised to 20 which law of index is applicable here a raised to m whole raised to n would be a raised to m correct that's the law applicable now essentially this is in turn 16 is in turn equal to 1 plus r raised to 20 which is nothing but 1 plus r raised to n n1 okay so therefore what is the value of uh, n1 it is 20 so how many years will it take 20 years that said is all of this required no correct so this should ideally be the only step in the exam so all of this was just to understand and just to cater to different levels of understanding for the audiences but then when we solve such questions in the exam do we need to write all these steps no we don't okay what would still be a better approach is to understand or align your understanding of compound interests and the amounts under compound interests particularly to a geometric progression so if you notice today as we see the principal is p in 5 years time it becomes double so 1 becomes 2 of course in a 10 year span it would become 4 times 15 years it would become 8 times in 20 years 16 times so that's all that one needs to understand that the time period progresses in an uh, you know it, it it passes by in an arithmetic progression so 0 5 10 15 20 and the amounts are in a geometric progression as simple as that so uh, if 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 you are able to relate with this kind of a concept then all of this also uh, perhaps is not required okay yeah so basically 5 times 4 that we have done here is 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 we have taken 5 lakhs one second third and the fourth lakh so the first second third and fourth that could give us 20 years okay